Welcome back. This is the first of two videos that we'll be discussing the funding structure that we use to spend budget money in government. This first video will look at the top level structure of how money is given to departments to conduct their business. At National Defense, we have three votes, vote one, vote five, and vote 10. These votes are essentially buckets that have money that it must be spent for a specific purpose, and we'll look at each one in turn. Vote one holds all of the operating funds. Vote five has funds that are to be spent on capital expenses, and vote 10 funds grants and contributions. Well, what are operating expenses? Operating expenses are in-year expenses. So this would fund things like salaries, fuel, maintenance, training, and operational costs. These are all things that are expected to be used up in that one year. Capital expenses, on the other hand, are money that are spent on things that are meant to last. And this would include constructing a new building, purchasing equipment, uh, such as a new tank, or stockpiling. Uh, what stockpiling would mean is, for example, if you bought a new tank, uh, we might also buy 10 or 15 years worth of spare parts. So since you're not expecting to use them up in that one year, those would be a capital expense. On the other hand, if that uh, same tank was broken and needed to spare part right now, fixing that tank would be a maintenance activity. And so purchasing that spare part for that tank right now would be a vote one operating expense. Last, we have the vote 10, grants and contributions. Grants and contributions are essentially money that is spent by the department, but not for itself. It's, it's given to other organizations or spent outside of the department. Uh, an example of that would be uh, Canada, Canada is part of the NATO lines. And so the Department of National Defense uh, sends money to NATO every year to help maintain the cost of running NATO. And so that is not money that the Canadian Armed Forces uses to train itself or conduct operations. Uh, it's not money that is used to purchase equipment or build buildings. So that type of payment would fall under vote 10. And last thing I'll show you here, uh, these numbers come from 2020, and this shows you the relative size of the budget for, that is within each one of those votes. So you can see vote one is the majority of the budget, $18.8 billion. Vote five is $3.8 billion. And vote 10 was $200 million. Now, while $200 million is a lot of money, uh, compared to the $18.8 billion and $3.8 billion, it is not. And so d d is very heavy in the vote one and the vote five. And in future videos, we'll be focusing our attention on those two votes. That's all I have for you now. The key thing to remember is we have vote one, vote five, and vote 10. Vote one is operating and vote five is capital. See you in the next lesson.